Welcome to the new Rockon vlog guys. As you can see, it's a black box day. I cannot tell you how long we developed that part, but it was like more than a half a year. And it's for the 390 Duke. Everybody was waiting for that. So let me show you what's inside. I'm not gonna open. Are you ready, Dominic? Of course, let me see. <laughs> okay, let's open. Okay, we're trying to be eco-friendly, nature-friendly. So we have paper, but we still have some plastic. Okay. Bam, Dominic. Ooh, what is this? What is this? I added detail. style to it, so it's not just only black, but we have some orange details, and it's a brand new sub cage with the exhaust holder. And what is that? Here, you take this down, and it's adjustable. So it's our first adjustable sub cage, and I freaking love it. So. We're gonna go over to Natsa, our R&D guy, and he will tell us how he developed this and what's so important on the new product. Let's go. Okay, Natsa, it's your time to shine. Maybe you remember him from some other vlogs in the past, and he is our main guy for R&D. And this is your baby, right? What is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, it's like, it's a stunt part, but when I tell you to be a street part, that's quite tricky, right? Yeah, because uh, it must be strong, Okay. not so uh, heavy looking, Yeah. and uh, must be adjustable. Yeah, that was, uh, I told Natsa, this time I want to have an adjustable sub cage. So that was uh, something new for us. And uh, yeah, so out of what is this sub cage uh, made? So our yeah. rockers can see. Basically, we combine two materials, steel and aluminum. Okay. Steel is because it's uh, more uh, stronger and okay. uh, aluminum. We use it just for uh, uh, spacers and some design touches. Steel is powder coated and aluminum is uh, anodized uh, orange. Orange and with the uh, Rokon engraving. And as I see this, can you explain what is this line? This is uh, our line. We use on uh, all parts. Okay, so also you can find it on the tail tilly, right? Right, and uh, on oh, the tail tilly. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> tail tail tidy. Tidy. Okay, that's <laughs> right. The tail tilly. And I mean, everybody likes tilly, right? I mean, I don't know. You don't know? He don't or, know or, if he likes tilly. That, that's or, that's uh, a shame. Or, or, uh, ass guy. What are you? Okay, drop <laughs> okay. some comments below if you are more a tilly guy or the ass guy. Uh, okay, back to the sub cage, <laughs> back to the topic. So this is our adjustable sub cage for the 2017 plus Duke 125 390. And right. it's, it's plug and play system or not? Uh, yeah, it's plug and play. Uh, it's a uh, few screws for main okay. and uh, this two here for a regulator. And the holder, that's exhaust holder, right? That's exhaust holder. So you just take yeah. down the stock uh, one and you put this and one put on. This on. So yeah. it's about 30 minutes work, Dominic? Yeah, but not on the camera. <laughs> not on the camera, it's like a few hours on the camera, right? Okay, uh, not so I need to say you did a very good job on that and I'm really psyched. We, we waited for so long for that and uh, yeah, let's put it on the bike. Let's go. Okay, Dominic, ready? Yeah. In three, two, one, let's run. The stock packs are out and save all the stock bolts and uh, the rubber and everything because you're gonna reuse it on our Rock on sub cage. What you doing? Uh, mounting the new sub cage. You need. You want to try? Mm, maybe next time. Uh, I have to meet a friend in five minutes. Do you maybe have time to take me? Uh, what do you think? Five minutes? We need a bit more, right? Ranching is always one or two hours. More <laughs> <now>. <laughs> but yeah, give us 15 minutes and we're gonna go with a 390. Okay, give me 15 minutes. Okay, 
Hey Rob. Yo. But uh, if you have the sub cage, what do you also need? The uh, bread cage. Uh, good question. Um, so our sub cage is actually protects the rear part of the bike, such as exhaust and the plastics. And the crash cage I have from the KTM Power Parts. Uh, we still didn't develop ours, but this one is also very good. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the frame sliders, you know the just like, a straight tube out, right? Yeah, like it destroys the frame at the first crash. So guys, please don't buy the crash sliders because they are not good for your uh, Duke. Uh, rather buy a full crash cage and that's much better because it has three points that it's connected to the frame so it uh, absorbs the crash uh, crash impact much better so beside the crash cage uh, the next crash impact is the handlebar and I have also the front crash slider so the front part of the bike is protected by the crash cage handlebar and the front slider so if you have the combination of our Rockon sub cage KTM Power Parts crash cage and our sliders, uh, you're, you have the most protected duke that you can uh, do. The bike gonna go away from a bigger crash uh, with minor like scratches, but that's it. The bike should be protected. So our sub cage is, uh, helps to protect the rear part of the bike. But if you want to be like 100% sure that everything is safe, I suggest that you also get a crash cage. Also, if you use the crash cage uh, and you don't have the sub cage, you don't protect your rear part of the bike, like the pegs, the exhaust, the plastics. So it's a good, uh, good that you have a, like a combination. So that's why I'm using also a crash cage. And this is also a wheelie academy <laughs> bike. Uh, that we do and my students crash a lot with that bike so I want to protect it as much as possible Is But uh, today we're gonna try it out without a crash cage, right? Uh, yes, uh, on my stunt bike I don't use the crash cage, so... Okay, let's see how this is gonna hold up Okay, I'm also curious, I, uh, I tested it a lot but this is now the final product so let's see how this is gonna work Hey Maribi, let's go! Okay, before we go to the city, let's adjust the sub cage for Maribi's size. So you can adjust the sub cage in three stages. Uh, right now is the stage one, stage two is the middle, and stage three is the lowest one, which is also perfect for Maribi, and it's good for the street use. So let's go right now. <laughs> Okay, we are here at the stunt spot, so guys, imagine you took your girlfriend or your friend or whatever to the city, now you came to your stunt spot and you want to practice some tricks. So for that, you want to adjust your sub cage, what to do? Remove the cover, same on the other side, take those two bolts out, I have my small tool with me, just removing those two bolts, takes you about one to two minutes. And that's it, so the sub cage is not falling down or something uh, and you just adjust it to your preferred uh, position. So my position is somewhere in the middle and then just put the balls back like this. One, two, and you put the cover back. It has a rubber o-ring so it will not fall down while you're riding on the street from the vibration. So it's safe and locked. And in the end just tighten it up with your hand and that's it and you're ready to go. Okay, Dominic, you ready for some crash testing? Yeah, of course. 
Uh, we will not use my 390 street bike, but we're gonna use my stunt bike because I want to do like super aggressive, fast, big tricks. And the only difference is that my stunt bike doesn't have a crash cage as my street bike, which means that the whole protection will be based on my sub cage, which is totally the same on my 390, on my handlebar and my front slider. So in general, the only difference is the crash cage. And this one has less protection, but uh, it will show even more how the sub cage works. So let's go throw some tricks. Man, I love this way of parking. Rookie mistake! Not again. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned at all. Okay, let's oh. see how's the bike. You see, it's still in one piece. Yeah, I can see that definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know that already for more than a half a year. Since we are like really testing a lot with that sub cage, it's not so easy to do it. I know it's a piece of metal, but it's adjustable and needs to be strong so but it's in one piece there is no scratches on the bike since we have the handlebar the sub cage and the front packs and those are the three crashing points when you see the slow motion you think it touches the bike but actually it doesn't no it's just only the foot packs if you're gonna crash you're gonna maybe destroy the foot pack but that's like a 15 euros to 30 euros replacement but uh, if we would like to save that, we will read, read like really wide uh, sub cage, and that's problem with the parking, problem with going between the cars in the city. And it looks ugly. And it looks also ugly, so you need to consider all those points. So we have definitely some battle scars. I crashed a lot. I, I have more scars on the left side. And the good thing is you just uns unscrew the box here, like this. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me one more second. <laughs> Like this so you see okay this is still okay but uh, if you don't like to have a, d a destroyed one you can just replace it and have a fresh foot pack and yeah i would give a big thumbs up for the sub cage what do you say dominic for me it seems good so okay guys it's right now available on our shop.rockbagrush.com online shop and you can get it for your 2017 plus duke 125 200 390 250 uh okay not 200 200 is a different uh, shape 125 250 and 390 duke uh 2017 plus and it's available uh and i'm waiting that i see some sub cages on your bikes man it's so hot okay guys before we come to the end of the vlog just a few words about my company rock Bagarish parts we are still a very small company with a small team but we are 24 7 motorheads and we are producing parts for the 24 7 motorheads so we are not just a brand that puts a logo on it and sell the part but we are actually using those parts and dreaming and thinking about those parts 24 7 so your opinion also means a lot to us so what i want to say is if you give us a comment on our social media about our uh, parts if they can be better if you have some ideas or what kind of parts should we produce in the future on even some critics everything's make us better and we are reading those comments and use it in the future development so if you want to be a part of our motorhead community we have a cool instagram page and also a facebook page and we post 
cool photos and videos and we also share photos from our rockers on daily basis so come and follow us and let's enjoy together guys that's the end of the vlog and i hope you liked it our bike survived and we see you next week until then rock, rock on, on.